Hi, everyone. So my name is Ahmed Asi, as I said. Um, I wanted to come in down and talk to you about something called the Odyssey Project. Um, the Odyssey Project is something that's been happening for five years so far. This is actually its fifth year this summer. And it grew out of a summer program at UC Santa Barbara. Um, it was started by the gentleman in the middle, his name is Michael Morgan. He's a uh, professor of voice primarily. Um, and so he started a course called the People's Voice. Um, and this course brings together faculty, staff, undergraduate students um, at UCSB with uh, individuals who are at Los Pretos Voice Camp, which is a minimum uh, security juvenile detention facility run by Santa Barbara County um, for juvenile uh, uh, offenders who are between the ages of 13 and 17. Um, they come together for the grand tradition of storytelling. Uh, in this case, storytelling through theater. Um, and they come together in such a fashion that every story is on equal footing and there is no story more important than the other. The story they're telling is, um, as the name might apply, the story of Homer's Odyssey. Uh, which is about Odysseus and how he's trying to get home back to Ithaca after the uh, war, the Trojan War, and all the trials and tribulations he encounters along the way. But really, it's not so much that story as their own stories. Um, because over the course of the project, both groups of students, and we think of them as students in each case, um, rewrite Homer's Odyssey in a way that tells their own stories, but elevates them to the level of Homer's own classic and validates them, hopefully, along the way. Um, in that process, they use the hero's journey, you know, this idea that Joseph Campbell came up with, um, or I guess codified, where there's this journey where a young hero has a moment of crisis, leaves home, goes through their trials, eventually returns with new knowledge and perhaps a different worldview. We're also working with this idea of personal mythology, the idea that the stories that we tell about ourselves, that others tell about us, have some power in the world, and then you know maybe think about if those stories were different or if we could tell the stories that were more authentic to us, how would that change? What does that process, process entail? Well, it entails a lot of writing, um, for one thing, because the students will actually rewrite the text. They'll write the different incidents in the tale, and then their own words will become the script of the eventual theatrical production. Um, the other part of the process is there's a lot of drawing. Um, and the drawing exercises end up becoming not only the costumes that are uh, being used, they become part of the set, the projections that are used in the theatrical production, but they also become as part of a creative outlet. Um, one of the things that these exercises allow them to do is for they allow each student to identify what we think of as the tragic flaw, something that it hasn't been done to them, but is something about themselves that seems to be holding them back um, in some way, whatever that flaw means to them. Um, and then, over the course of the project, they can actually confront that flaw. So as you know, the Cyclops is confronted, the monsters that are confronted over the course of the Odyssey, these students will use these exercises um, to try and get beyond their own flaws, confront the monsters that they have encountered over the course of their lives, um, and arrive at something like a mythic persona. Part of that is we use masks. There's somebody who helps them create individual masks. Um, which they use to represent that mythic and character or that mythic side of themselves as they undertake this journey. That's an example of one of the students in the mask. Some of the other things that we use in the show are things like dance. We have a dance instructor who comes in and works with them. We use the kind of dance that they know um, or are willing to do in some cases. Um, we also have used things like, you know, crump dance styles in the past, street dancing, but it becomes part of telling the story. We also have somebody who comes in and works with stage combat, in this case, Aikido, um, and we use stylized violence to replace both the violence in the story and the violence that is sometimes part of these students' lives. Um, and so they're coached in that. Ultimately, 
they perform, they come together for a performance in front of their community um, in Santa Barbara on the uh, center stage and uh, in a situation where every story is equal to any other. Um, part of that, so, you know, one of the things that's important about this project that I feel is, you know, one of the key goals is the idea that, you know, if you can retell your story, it can be an intervention in where you might be heading, uh, which is important because the recidivism rate in California, the rate at which youthful offenders actually end up back in jail is 78%. Um, which is a lot. So it's this idea that maybe art can be an intervention um, and they can re sort of negotiate their course. One of the things we're doing is, you know, it has been working, and so one of the things we're doing is we're actually making a documentary film about the process. Um, they filmed last year, they're editing and things like that this year, and we're putting together a manual, one for universities or educational institutes, and one for municipalities about how they could come together, because that's part of it too, is, you know, it is a university body coming together with uh, a government body and maybe do similar work of their own. Um, both of those projects are being funded by a Kickstarter campaign. Um, so if you think that this would be something that's worthwhile, if you'd like to donate a little bit, uh, I have information about that. Otherwise, I'd also like to invite you to just come see the show. Um, this year's show will be on the 13th of September at the center stage. Um, thank you.